Kiss FM. And now it's time for Ryan's Roses. Dear Ryan, Sissy, and Tanya, I found a recently deleted note in my husband's phone. It said, Lauren, bra size 34C. I have no idea who Lauren is. I'm hoping you can help me out. Wow, so she found that message. Incredible. Why would he need to have that information in his notes? This is Leah in Granada Hills. Leah, good morning. Hi, good morning. So I'm just trying to understand what might you think, like, why would he have that note, your husband, in his phone? I, what could it be I related honestly, to? I mean, it's, it's, there's a woman's name and a bra size, so I can't even imagine it being anything else than he's with another woman. Could it be like, um, a, 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 is that your bra size? No. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. I was like, maybe it's like a, a person that was helping him buy lingerie for you or something. No, it's, yeah, I'm a little larger than that. Leah, hold on one second. How long have you been married? And why not ask him about it? Um, we, we've been married for eight years, and I just... I don't want him to make up some nonsense response about what it is. And honestly, there's no good answer. So yeah. I'd rather just hit him red handed. And so how, he can't how has your marriage it. been? Is it okay? Um, we're definitely not as close, but if you're asking if I ever suspect, suspected him having an affair, you know, the answer is no. Um, yeah, I, I really, Really thought I found a good one. Wow. Well, maybe you did. Maybe there's a perfect explanation for this. Rose is right now. We just met Leah. She's married to the guy for eight years. And she says she found a note that was deleted in his phone. Lauren dash bra size 34C. Can't understand why he would have that. I mean, why would anybody need another woman's bra size? Right. Not your wife can't think of any reason. So what we're gonna do, Leah, is we're gonna call your husband right now. We're gonna put him on the air. We're gonna try and find out who's top of mind, who he's thinking about. And if he sends the roses to you or Lauren or anybody else, it's gonna be very telling. I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then your husband's name, go ahead. Ryan, you have my permission to call. We're gonna do it right now. Be very quiet and here we go, good luck. Is this Chris? It is indeed, yes. Hi there, my name is Moxie. I'm calling from Fresh Blooms in Granada Hills. How are you doing this morning? Uh, doing all right. Uh, what can we do for you? Uh, well, we deliver locally and all over L.A., actually. And today we're offering a free promotion. It's a free dozen red roses that you can send to anybody that you'd like. They're absolutely free. Just trying to promote our business. And all that we ask is if you're pleased with our arrangements, maybe you refer us to friends and family. These are free to you, though. No cash, credit card, or anything like that. You can just start with the note. Oh, that's it. oh, they're like virtual roses or something? No, they're real roses. Um, they can be delivered today uh, around lunchtime, or if a different day is more convenient for you, that works too. Um, like I said, it's just a promotion we do about once a month. Um, is there anybody that you would want to send free roses to? Uh, just want to check real quick. Is there a catch for this? or? No catch. I mean, truly, if you uh, love the roses, hate the roses, and we don't hear from you ever again, that's fine. If you love them, then come back as a customer one day. But these are free. I don't need any sort of um, information from you, personal information or anything like that. Uh, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, send them to my wife, uh, uh, Leah. Okay. And what would you like to put on the card? Um... Uh, okay, uh, put, uh, to Leah, uh, these last few weeks of the magical love, Derek. Love Derek. Okay, but your name is, this is Chris, right? Uh, actually, no, wait, wait, one, one minute. Um, what's a good guy's name? Um, <laughs> uh, Leo, just do, just do Leo. Yeah, Leo. To Leah from Leo? I'm really confused. Uh. Are they? Is this, are you trying to send them on behalf of somebody of somebody else, which is fine. No, no, 
No, no, no. It's, it, it, I know. It's, it's, it's all right. Just love Leo. Just that's it. Love Leo. Yes. Um, okay. I, Chris, your voice oh. is being broadcast on the radio. Uh, my name is Ryan. I have Sisney and Tanya. And I'm on with your wife as oh. well. Why are you sending roses from a different name? Um, wait, what? Who's, who's why, Lauren? Why are you sending roses I, <laughs> from a different... Why wait, are you who, sending who your Lauren? wife roses? Hold on, right. what, what's happening, right? Look, well, I, hold I don't know, on, I don't everyone. Know hold on, everyone. Yep. First of all, Chris, what's going on? Why are you sending roses to your wife with a different name? Uh... Yo, look, I don't know who this is, but you caught me at a bad time, okay? So, uh... Have, you don't know how bad day. it is, actually. You don't know how bad it is, because day, Leah told us that she found a note. A, a, <sighs> we, we found a note in your phone, Lauren's a bra size. What's going on with that, Chris? He's gone. Chris, what's going on with that? He's gone. Has he hung up? He, I just said it two times. He's gone? Chris is He's gone, gone. Liam. <laughs> oh, my God. From Am Derek, I whatever no, I was, his name is. Chris, Leo, I was so wound up. I didn't notice his phone line dropped a second ago. Leah, you're there. Why is he signing his yeah. name and not his name? Like, what's that all about? I have no idea. I have no idea. <laughs> Do those names ring a bell? Do they make any no. sense? No, it doesn't. I have no well, idea what? what he's doing. Does he want you to get flowers from another man because he's doing something behind your back and then he can call you out on it? Is that what he's trying to do? I mean, that's the only Derek, thing I Leo. can think of. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know who Lauren is, and I don't know what he's doing, but... Something's up. Something it, well, Something is up. He's signing his name Leo Derek. Yeah. He's got this woman, Lauren's bra size, in his phone. So you're... I mean, I'm sorry we couldn't get more from him or him to confess to anything, but you're on the right track. There's definitely something going on. You know, I appreciate you guys calling him. I'm, oh, I'm just really shaking it's, up right now. Well, you take good care of yourself and good luck, okay? Trying to get to the bottom of it. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. I can't. Why? So clearly he's there's something going on, but why would he sign his name, not his name? I, yeah, I'm I don't stumped understand. by that. And he didn't have, like, it was like he was thinking of that right on the spot. Like, it, was, it wasn't, like, his true plan, but he was like, oh, Derek, right. no. I mean, maybe Leah. What's a good guy's name? It's Remember very that? confusing. Yeah. How is he doing what's that? What's a good guy's name? I don't know. I, I can't figure out why he would do that. Unless he's trying to get her to get flowers from somebody else so he can make a stir about it. <gasps> that is deep. Right? Because he's already got something going on behind her back with him right so then he's trying to create something with her because oh, he knows he's doing yeah. something behind her back right right that's, what I'm, I'm, that's the only thing i can think of yeah i mean why else would you do that all right we'll come back to ryan's roses but weirdly he was caught we're not quite sure to what extent he was doing the cheating but he was caught and he wanted to send the roses to his wife but sign a different name thank you for listening love having you on love having you a part of it if this is your regular routine, if it's not, join us every weekday from 6 to 10 a. Those are the hours here on KISS. So we do this thing, Ryan's Roses. If you think somebody's cheating on you and you need the peace of mind, you need to get to the bottom of it, and you can't figure out what's going on, tell us the story. Let us call your spouse. We'll find out if they're cheating or not. Generally, we find out. Today, we didn't get clarity, but Leah married to Chris. Chris wanted to send the roses to Leah. But he didn't want to sign a romantic roses bouquet card. He didn't want to sign his own name. Why? He was like, come up with it. What's a good name? Yeah. Leo, Derek, whatever. Yeah, he couldn't think of one. And then he just said, Leo. Do love Leo. Do so, love Leo. Here's why I think. So she reached out to us because she thinks he's cheating. Because he's got a woman named Lawrence bra size stored in his notes. So why would he need that? So I think he's sending the roses to his wife from another guy so he can be like, who's Leo? Yeah. So he can start to pick a fight with that because he knows he's doing something behind her back already. That is so that's shady. That's what I think. That's what I think is going on. Yeah. Why else would you do that? It makes no sense to me at all. It really doesn't. Cindy is in West Covina here. Uh, Cindy, good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm 
doing okay, you know, disheartened by what I heard. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, what is you know. going on? Why would he, what, what, what was your, what do you think? What's your view? You're the whole thing. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, I agree with you 100%. I mean, it's really obvious what he's doing. He's planting a seed so that he can catch her and exactly. have some kind of hard reason to leave her. How you know, manipulative is that? He's cheating, yeah, he's and now he's trying to set interest. up her to make it look like she is, right? Yep, that's what's happening. It is truly diabolical. Yeah, yes. This is the stuff that telenovelas are written about, you know? I mean, but... And he hung up on us, so it's not like he didn't even stick around to defend himself or explain anything. He hung up. Oh, he's got explaining to do when she gets home, you know? Yeah. Like you said, this is what telenovelas are all about. Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. I feel but so bad for her, but she's better off. She will be, but it's getting through. It's going to be tough. Thank you, Cindy, for yeah. listening. We appreciate it. You take good care. Makes total sense. At the guy's first I trying thought it, to manipulate her. At first, I thought it was like his Sasha Fears. You know what I mean? Like his like his code name for her. And right, then, right, right. And he's like, like, what's yeah. a good guy's name? His on superhero that? name. Yeah. Not the case. No. Coming back with Disneyland tickets here, that's Ryan's Roses. We do it every Monday, every Thursday.